Here we are back with another build video, but today we're going to be going over a ranged build. Sometimes when you're running around the backyard, running up and punching things or using a melee weapon just does not feel like it's going to cut it for some enemies or for some playstyles. I know some of you out there really prefer your range builds now that they've come through and made it so you can actually block and perfect block with your ranged weapons. Being a ranged build character has become even more powerful especially if you're playing multiplayer. So in this little tutorial that we're going to be going over today, going over my best range build that I enjoy to use, I'm going to be going over not only the armor and the perks that you can be using, but also a couple trinkets that could help boost this build a little bit more. But let's get into it and let's start going over this build. So the first things first we're going to do is we are going to go through and we're going to equip all of our armor and we're going to go over all of the armor and the weapon that I've decided to use. Now, the the weapon for me this is just my personal decision it's completely up to you guys i prefer the speed of this over the black ox crossbow but honestly it's up to you if you'd prefer to use a black ox crossbow instead the important thing though seeming how when you're talking bows or crossbows you need to talk arrows as well and personally i prefer to use super venom arrows for this build and we're going to get more into that in just a little bit but standard splinter arrows or going down candy arrows could be a viable second option for you but like i said i prefer to use super venom arrows so all in all like i said the accessory here is going to be up to you we'll cover that more in just a moment but let's talk the actual armor i've decided to go with the bard's two-door here for a couple different reasons first of all I like the fact that you can heal your friends. I like the fact that this also does a buff, a buff to yourself and makes it so your enemies suffer negative effects. Now, this is going to be in lowering their attack damage and their speed a little bit. So all in all, a good debuff for you when you are an archer. If you are playing on your own and you want to do a little bit more damage and get away from, say, this healthy harmony spell here that allows you that hurting enemies also can heal your allies and stuff like that, your buffs are good. But if you're playing on your own, you can go through and swap this out. Personally, what I would do is for another piece of moth gear, but it's up to you on your preference there. Um, I wouldn't suggest to go down the bonus damage that you would get from using a crow uh, feather hat. It's okay, but honestly, the amount of damage you're going to be able to put out with this build already, you don't really need the extra stopping power that comes with a having a little bit more powerful stop. So, okay, so let's go over each of the different bonuses you get here. So, Bardic, Discouragement, Pluck the Strings from your charge shots, cause enemies around you to suffer negative effects. Now, this is not a charge shot this is a charge shot where you actually hold it down and then you shoot out okay just as a reminder just doing single shots is not a charge shot so if you want that buff to go off you actually need to charge up your shot and then fire it off okay so keep that in mind if you're going to be using this class that you're going to need to do some charging which is why a couple of these other perks are also on here let's go over to the wasp breastplate shall we so this is also a light armor but the defense is all the way up because it is a tier three you get quick shot refund and charge shot combo when you are on the sleek path by the way all the pieces of armor are down the sleek path and the bow obviously is down the mighty path because it is the only path you can go down with ranged weapons but let's talk charge shot combo charge shot combo shooting an uncharged shot has a chance to make your next charge shot twice as fast this is important for us archers because if you're going to be going through and you're going to shoot one quick shot and then you're going to do a charge shot boom that charge shot was just that much faster see how quickly that was there so i shoot one arrow you have your recharge and then you hold it and it's that much quicker now if i was to show you just holding it it's not incredibly faster when using the bow it is a little bit better for crossbows but still anything to get that charge shot build making you about 20 percent faster that's going to be a good thing for you especially when using this two door that you get from defeating the queen wasp but 
let's go more into the other perks that you get from it. You also get quick shot refund. Quick shot refund is shooting a charge shot as a chance to make your uncharged shots uh, refund their stamina for a brief time. So it's making those charge shots even more worth your time of going through getting those piled up. And by the way, charge shots do deal more damage for you as well. All right, and then finally, I go with the moth leggings. Now, this moth leggings, you guys may be wondering, Sim, why didn't you just go with more charge shot bonuses? Why'd you go with this one? For a very specific reason, range cut. Range cut, what this does is it literally gives your bows the chance to apply bleed to enemies. And you guys know how I feel about those damage over time for our builds here in Grounded. It's going to be a great thing to help you lower the enemy's health as you're going. Jumpstart is pretty cool. Attacks with bows and stats have a chance to instantly store some stamina. So that's going to be better for all of us who are running around shooting arrows. Shooting a bow does require a little bit of stamina and you need to keep on the move while you are a ranged character. So it's going to be a bonus to keep that stamina up. For you, which is another reason why I've gone through and said you probably should have a fungus spacho on you as well, which is why they're in here. A fungus spacho is going to make it so your attack stamina is higher. So if you just go ahead and eat that, boom, just like that, attacks use less stamina. So instead of a ranged attack using just a little bit, which you can't see right now because I have stamina burn turned off, but instead of ranged attacks using a little bit of stamina, they use even less for you, especially those those charged attacks for you as well. So it's going to make it so you can run around more, jump around more, and do your more blocking and stuff like that with the small amount of stamina that you're going to have. Okay. That's great. We've talked armor. Now let's talk mutations here, shall we? So the mutations I've gone with are fairly simple for you guys. And like all of my builds, I went ahead and left you guys a utility spot for yourself to choose whatever you'd like to put in there. It's completely up to you. In fact, technically, this build has two utility spots for you to decide where you want to put your perks. But let's go through them. First things first, the sharpshooter. This is going to make it so you use significantly less stamina after landing a shot with a bow or crossbow. This is great. You can run around a lot more. You're not going to have that problem of burning through your stamina as fast. Then also, as we go down here, I have coup de grass. This is going to up your critical hit chance. Critical hit chance to me, critical hits are really, really good for you because all in all, critical hits cause a little bit more damage, which is great. But... Like I said, this is one that you can swap out for anything else that you'd like in case you don't want it. Maybe you want to swap this one out for meat shield. That's completely okay as well. Going down here, mom jeans. Hold on a second. This one probably confuses a couple people. Sim, why did you choose mom jeans? You guys remember how I told you that you want to have those poison arrows out there? Those super venom arrows that apply really, really powerful poison? Guess what? If you use mom jeans with that, guess what happens? You get plus 50% poison damage and you're going to get some little mobs that are going to run around as well as you're attacking. So all in all becomes very powerful for you if you actually use either regular venom, air, regular poison arrows or super venom arrows. I would suggest you guys go out and use the super poison arrows. You are not going to be disappointed with how much damage you can do. Now, yes, you have to kill a black widow in order to get it but remember it's only one black widow venom and 10 arrows to make 10 of those bad boys so a good thing the last perk that i have here for you guys is apex predator why did i choose apex predator okay so apex predator for me the reason why i went ahead and got this one is using the bard's bow it has a 20 percent chance whenever you attack to give you a buff that's gonna spawn a friendly wasp for you so not only now are you getting your little mom gene buddies pulling in some little uh spiderlings running around now you also have a chance that's going to pull out a wasp as well and the wasp will die after performing attacks yeah or 15 seconds that's fine but using a wasp to run around and attack things for you that can deal up to 90 damage to your enemies plus pulling the aggro off of you all in all really powerful thing for you to have on your bow that's why i suggested you use the bard's two-door now and the uh wasp queen wasp bow but if you're not going to use the queen wasp bow you can take this off you could take apex predator off you could put something else on if you prefer to use a crossbow but all in all this is my favorite build 
Now, let's talk trinkets a little bit, shall we? So first things first, the trinkets that you can use for this build are a couple different things. You could go through and get the Queen Wasp trinket. That's gonna give you arrow refund. It's literally gonna make it so you have a 25% chance to not use arrows. That's awesome, right? Just to not have to use arrows when you shoot, those venom arrows are gonna go even longer, okay? Or if you wanted to, you could technically go and get yourself a uh, fancy fletching. Actually, I think the fancy fletching is the one that makes uh, your arrows effortless. I think that the, uh, oh no, 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 I was right, I was right. Bows and I'm just looking it up real quick in the notes that I have here. Bows and crossbows are 25% chance to not consume ammo if you're using arrow refund, which is what you get from the wasp trinket. If you're going to be using the other one, it makes it so... So it does exhaustion recovery. You have a 50% chance for literally it to spike your uh, stamina for yourself if you're shooting a bow. Could you use it? Sure. Should you use it? Eh. The last one that I would suggest you guys check out is the Whittling Trinket that would literally summon black Whittlelings to run around and help you guys. So it's literally like a buff version of mom jeans. And think about it like this. Now you could have Spiderlings, Whittlelings, and Wasps all running around giving you a, chan a hand fighting anything that you're fighting, making it so Really, this becomes a super, super, super powerful move or powerful build for really anybody that wants to go through and try out a teen that has a wonderful new build that is the range build that I've been working on here for you guys. Apparently I say no, don't build this build. I'm just kidding. Anyway, this is a really good one for you guys. I would suggest you go out, give it a try, check it out, and let me know what you guys think or what you guys would do differently down in those comments for your own range build. But to me, this is the best range build that you can go for in Grounded as of 2023. Remember guys, we're gonna be getting a new update here that's gonna be coming out this fall and be on the lookout. I've seen that there's gonna be some quite big changes that are coming that I hope all of you guys are just as excited for as I am. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to hit those comments. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.